We're now coming to the end of this Sage training course. Thank you again so much for taking this course. There are a few things I want to go through before we close, just some things you may need to know. First of all, there's a number down at the bottom right here. It's currently 1308. This shows the current Sage transaction number. So every time you put a transaction on Sage, this will go up by one. And this is the number that appears here and appears in this column here and also on the nominal ledger appears here. So this is transaction 36 the 36th transaction to go on Sage and we're currently at 1308. Now when people put invoices onto Sage or any transaction they normally mark the document with this transaction number. So if they ever need to edit or delete that transaction in a future time it's easier to find. Now the way we edit and delete transactions is by clicking this corrections module here. If that's not showing click this arrow click add or remove buttons, find corrections and click it. So you may have something like this and the corrections, and corrections is not showing, click add, remove buttons, corrections and it will appear. If it doesn't appear down there at all, click file, click maintenance, click yes and then click corrections. Either way you'll come up with this corrections module same as all the rest of the modules in Sage, have a list of all your transactions with some icons at the top. And this is very simple, you have edit and delete. So you find the transaction number you want by scrolling through. If you want to save a bit of time, click find, search in transaction number, let's say transaction 1000, which was a sales invoice. We want to edit that transaction, click edit, click yes, and you can edit the account that that sales invoice was posted to, the reference, the description, the date, the due on date, click edit again, you can then edit net amount, tax amount, and further things. So there's a lot you can edit on a transaction if it's been put on stage incorrectly. If you want to delete a transaction you've put on Sage, simply click delete and you'll have a delete button down the bottom here. Click delete, click yes and that transaction will be deleted. Now what happens if you don't have a transaction number and you're struggling to find the transaction you want? Click find. Don't search on transaction number. If you know the date number, put in date put the date in and search by date. You might know the net amount which was £100. So put £100 in, search your net amount, click find first and you'll find the first entry with £100 as the net amount. Click next and just keep clicking find next and you'll go through all the transactions on Sage with £100 as the net amount. You can also search by tax amount, amount paid, and date reconciled. So a few more things to know about Sage. To take a backup of Sage, um, go on to File, click Backup, and follow the instructions. You'll get a box appear saying, do you want to check your data? If you click Yes, it'll then just scan through all the transactions on Sage and make sure your data is not corrupt. You'll then get an option to save a backup of Sage. It only takes a couple of minutes, it's worth doing. I can't take a backup as this is a demo <laughs> this is demo data I'm using. Under settings, configuration, under tax codes, you can edit the tax codes. So T1 is at twenty percent. If the AT drops back down to seventeen and a half or rises to twenty two and a half, just click edit and you can change the rate there. Products. You may remember in this product module, when we created a product, you had a category to put products into. 
you go into settings configuration click on products you can edit the categories here you can set up default customer and supplier trading terms here so if they're set up when you create a new customer supplier these will be defaulted already for that customer supplier so you don't have to keep changing it every time you add a new customer supplier settings company preferences you can put in your company name address and other information your accountants details under accountant your VAT details under VAT and then you can enable sage pay here if you're going to use sage pay and sage will give you instructions on how to activate this service when you go with sage pay settings customer defaults you can set up the default tax code to appear when you create a new customer um, at T1 and also default nominal codes if you click terms agreed then all customers you create will have terms agreed already ticked so you don't have to bother ticking that and then you can change the period aging like I showed you already for suppliers this one's for customers click OK setting supply defaults once again default tax codes nominal codes terms agreed and the aging settings bank defaults not really anything in here you'll want to use you can have a look see what there is there but I wouldn't suggest changing anything on there product defaults once again you can change default for products when you create a new product for tax code nominal code the category the product comes under and the unit of sale settings invoice defaults um, so there's a couple of things you can do in invoices when you raise invoices on sage but nothing too much you may not change anything on there you can change the financial year of sage on there change your password and I believe I'll show you how to do that in our verse video access rights if you want to create access rights get in contact with me if you have a number of licenses for sage you can put access rights so some computers cannot get into certain parts of sage like profit and loss for example you may not want a fellow employee to know how much money you're making each year so just click on access rights and you can do that in this screen it's fairly straightforward you can probably work it out by just going through yourself but if you do need help please get in contact with me under tools click options under view you can default what appears when you click on the modules so if you want the process maps to appear click OK and then when you click customers or suppliers it will come up with these process maps so if you like the process maps do that but let's change them back to the lists you can turn off all the process maps if you want to and you can turn off the welcome page when you load up Sage if you don't like that click OK under tools and options again you can change the colors of Sage by using this not I have some um, clients when I go and train do Sage training and they find you can change the colors normally with female based offices everything ends up pink um, something bright like this they choose a pink on customers click OK and then what happens when you go to customers you have these pink lines going across gives you a real headache um, but you can change the colors on sage like so but let's change that back to the way it was And then lastly, if you click on company, you'll get the nominal ledger appear. Click on financials. And at the top here, under financials, the financials module, you'll get your P&L, a balance sheet, and a trial balance you can print off 
all reports. They're quite straightforward. Let's do the profit and loss. Click P and L. We'll preview that. It will, should ask you what period you want the P and L for. So here we go. So we want it for the whole financial year. Click OK. And it will bring up the report like so a profit and loss. So a net profit of thirty and a half thousand pound. But you can do it month by month too. Let's say for the first month, January and January, click OK. And there we go. And it's the same process with the balance sheet. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact me. If you have enjoyed the course, please like the videos. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. There are other courses I do um, for Sage Report Designer. So to design your own reports and edit reports on Sage. Um, I have report. I have courses on how to do a VAT return on Sage. How to do bank reconciliation on Sage. And also in the future hoping to do videos on QuickBooks and other accounting software so thank you very much please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions about the training and things that i've said and have provided for you there may be some small things in sage that you want to use that i haven't covered once again happy to provide assistance to show you how to do that just drop me an email at info at bpfs that's bravo papa foxtrot sierra hyphen online dot com thank you so much for watching